Hi, thank you for the opportunity to share some of my research with you. I'm Liz Vaughan McManus and I'm partway through a PhD at the University of Sunderland. I've been asked to prepare a short video presentation for the virtual conference in place of the poster um, presentation that I was going to be doing in Sweden. This has given me an opportunity to actually share some more visuals than I would have been able to. The title of my research is Developing an Internet of Glass Things. Glass artworks as digitally communicating objects. I'm exploring the creative possibilities of introducing digital technology into glass artwork. I'm going to briefly share with you two pieces of work from last year, Jeopardy and Stateless Vessel. My goal was to develop artworks to learn ways an Arduino microcontroller and a Raspberry Pi microcomputer could be used for creative effect acting on crafted glass. There are potentially infinite ways this could be realised. However, the projects were designed to address the research questions. How does blending glass with embedded electronics and chance and engage viewers and communicate content? And how do qualities of glass lend themselves to blending with electronics? Although the research concerns technological possibilities, the focus is artistic vision and practice. The research builds on my previous artistic practice in which I aim to engage with an audience through creating and animating artefacts, images and puppets for theatre and through exhibiting multimedia sculptural installations. I often incorporated technology such as video projection, interactive software, integrated with physical objects rather than screen-based, to create artwork with multiple channels for conveying metaphor or narrative with personal emotional significance. Exploring physical computing and embedded electronics alongside glass is offering me new ways of engaging with an audience and animating an artwork. With Jeopardy, I wanted to create an artwork which responded to open data from the web to trigger an effect in a glass form. Raspberry Pi enables this. With Raspberry Pi, it's possible to trigger video and other outputs directly from internet data. The open source data I linked it with was live United States Geological Survey earthquake data. It was programmed to trigger video when an earthquake happens over a certain magnitude and connected to a circuit which will break a glass object when the data records an earthquake of a greater magnitude. My engagement with the issue of the threat of earthquakes was triggered by the personal experience of my daughter in India feeling tremors from the large Nepalese earthquake of 2016. The widely shared YouTube footage of birds fleeing at the onset of the quake in Kathmandu seemed to me a metaphor for the emotional anxiety and panic generated in human experience. Jeopardy is not meant to act as a functional earthquake detector, but is a metaphorical piece about general human vulnerability. I took the imagery of startled birds fleeing from a tree to create a stop motion animation using painted glass slides. This would be set off on the screen whenever a low to medium seismic tremor was detected somewhere in the world. I wanted a major earth tremor to trigger glass breaking so, using the metaphor of glass for its fragility and vulnerability, I chose a representation of a glass house with glass dolls inside. For the house, sheet glass was given texture by casting into moulds in the kiln and then water jet cut from an AutoCAD design. I trialled and refined various mechanisms for breaking glass. The final solution was to hang a heavy stone, flint, from fuse wire which a current would break if triggered. I reflected that flint was used throughout the work in processed silica form, a constituent of glass itself, of the moulds in which the glass figures were cast, and of the silicon chips in the computational materials which process the data. The glass house's vulnerability was made visually obvious by the rock suspended over it by a thin thread. This was a reference to the phrase Sword of Damocles, 
meaning a sense of foreboding engendered by a precarious situation. It comes from the Greek legend of the sword which was hung by King Dionysus by a horse's hair over the throne above Damocles to give him a sense of the peril experienced by the king. A camera has been added to the artwork so it can be live streamed when exhibited to allow the artwork to be remotely checked for activity by visitors in their own time and space. The goal of Stateless Vessel was to create a glass artwork about the Mediterranean refugee crisis, a theme I have previously made work about. I plan to use an Arduino microcontroller to connect a glass artwork to data, lighting, audio or video. The genesis of this artwork was during a class at Pilchuck, where the glass boat was blown for me and I started to make the figures. This opportunity to make the form in blown glass played with the correspondence of a toy scale inflated blown glass vessel and a full size real inflatable rib boat. The figures were modelled in clay from which moulds were made and into which hot glass from the furnace was pressed. Glass pressing into moulds was a new technique to me and gave a less defined watery effect than kiln casting which is my usual process. A tinkering approach was used initially to explore the animation of the boat. I began to experiment with creating moving shadows by shining a light on or through the glass, playing with the effect of light. This built on my previous experience using moving lights and different materials to create movement, mood and storytelling in shadow theatre performances. I started experimenting with programming moving lights on an LED NeoPixel strip. This created progressive lateral movement of the shadow, which gave the illusion of the boat moving forward. I experimented with positioning the pixel strip and background screen in order to achieve caustic light effects in the shadow to simulate water. The low lighting level needed to achieve a clear image of the boat's shadow added to the narrative of a clandestine journey across the sea. The repeating progress of the boat around the screen emphasised the relentless number of migrants making such journeys. The boat is set on a sea of broken shards of glass, adding a metaphorical dimension. A research question was to investigate how the qualities of glass lend themselves to blending with digital technology or electronics. Of glass's many characteristics, the main quality exploited in jeopardy was its fragility and in stateless vessel, its capability to cast light and produce caustic effects, which I controlled using the Arduino and NeoPixel strip. I am thus starting to expand the palette of possible effects in the glass. New digital technologies and electronics used in Jeopardy and Stateless Vessel are providing new tools to animate artwork. In the process towards developing an Internet of Glass Things, the title of my research, I've reflected on the relationship of Internet of Things and the agency of artworks. British anthropologist Alfred Gell wrote about the agency of art in different cultures and the way it acts as a living presence on the viewer. He discusses how an artwork may captivate the viewer through its technical virtuosity or stylistic virtuosity, sometimes attributed to divine inspiration or magic. Throughout my practice, I have used enchantment as a means to engage with audiences, and this has been achieved through creating a sense of living presence through different means. New digital technologies and electronics used in Jeopardy and Stateless Vessel are providing new tools to animate artwork. Internet of Things concerns devices which, through sensors and connection with the internet, collect data and trigger action by themselves without human intervention. This independent agency of IoT offers the potential, in addition to a glass artwork acting or responding to the viewer, of also creating a relationship between glass artworks. Artwork as person digitally communicating with other persons in the form of connected artworks.